Cheers, Adrian. Cheers, Brian. Thanks for being back on. So happy to do it. Absolutely. You are here for a very specific reason. Yes. Because you are inspired by the Peniter snorkel. Yes. yes. <laughs> it's fantastic. Okay, so we're going to get to that in just a minute. But before we do, we got some things that are happening today that are worth mentioning. First off, today is Veterans Day observed. Um, yesterday was technically Veterans Day, but everybody was off. So right. most people have off. It's a federal holiday, uh, but we're still working here. Yes. But that's cool because we get to shoot this nice video for you. Yeah. Um, but we are, so we're not going to have any mail actually shipping out today. We'll be packing stuff up, but the mail pickup is not happening today. Um, however, we are doing something really cool. So we now have a military discount. So we used to do free shipping to APOs, which mm -hmm. anybody serving overseas, that was cool. But now we have a 5% discount for any active duty or veteran mm -hmm. military folk. So um, you can go in and you can register the military information on our site. It doesn't take too long, maybe Super easy. 30 seconds, might yeah. take maybe half an hour or something like that. And once you register, each time you log in, you just log in with your information and you get 5% off. So okay. thank you everyone for your service. Thank and you. for us to be able to launch that on Veterans Day, it's pretty cool. Yeah, so, it's awesome. But that's not just a Veterans Day thing. We're gonna do that going forward. Um, some other things, thanks for hanging in with me, Adrian. Uh, <laughs> we're launching a lot right now because we're coming into our, our very busy time of year. So um, we're going to have the Pilot Explorer, I believe is launching today. We just got here like 15 minutes ago. So I gotta make sure that everything's cool, but I'm sure it'll launch this week. Um, so that's really cool. Same nib as a Pilot Metropolitan. I'm sure we'll talk about that more on Wednesday. Um, we're launching the Peniter Snorkel Filler, which we're talking about today. We're gonna be launching um, the Rickshaw Pen Sleeves. So uh, we've been talking about that for a while, but we have our nice little fancy, oh, they're over there. Uh, but you've seen them, they're on the site. I've talked about them several times, but we're gonna launch those today. And then we have one other surprise that we're gonna be launching with its own fun video, which Andy, has been working on and it's gonna be amazing. So uh, we have one other cool thing that's coming. So uh, I'll leave you holding to that. So whew, there's a lot of stuff. A lot we got already. a lot going on. Yeah, I'm tired already. Yeah, me yeah. too. This <laughs> is just the beginning. That's yeah. why we have coffee, that's right? right? Exactly. Exactly. So let's talk about the snorkel because this is a kind of a interesting new invention in the pen world. Yeah. It's a very simple concept with a lot of potential complications, right? Right. So Adrian, tell us what is the snorkel? So the snorkel is a super easy way to fill your converters with ink without using a syringe, without having to do dip it into you, um, especially if you're having like uh, an ink sample or just a little bit of uh, ink left in your bottle. It works like the syringe, but it just pops into place and then you can use it to draw up the ink that you need. Nice. Um, so it's super easy. They mm -hmm. actually made it for three different sizes. So it's got a very small, a medium, and then a rubber ring to fit in larger size converters. So it's super versatile. Awesome. And this is something like this has never been done before. Yeah. Um, I think Dante, when he came and visited, this is a Dante Del Vecchio invention for those of you that kind of know the <laughs> mad scientist that he can be. Um, so he came up with this at Peniter. He was telling us about this in February. Wow. And it's taken this long for it to actually come to fruition because they had to try and work out as many kinks as they could and be able to mass produce them uh, in a way that was economical. Yeah. And, well, know. and something that looks so simple, I'm sure there was a lot going on. Oh, yeah. How are we going to get it to fit the majority of <clears throat> the converters? Well, and that's just the thing, too, is the converters, too, you're dealing with plastic mostly on the converters. Yep. So the tolerances on them can sometimes be within, like, the tenth or even a hundredth of a millimeter. It's yeah. kind of amazing. So um, to create something out of stainless steel, like they have here, which is gonna be ink corrosion resistant and all that stuff, it's gonna last you a long time, but yeah. to have it fit as many a converters, <laughs> all the different types of converters as it possible, good? Yeah. It's pretty, pretty tall feat, and I think they've done a pretty phenomenal job. So let's talk yeah. about, you know, the basic concept of how it works. We've mm -hmm. got, got our little sample ink. It's not actual ink. It's just dyed water, nice, basically. Nicely colored. Um, yeah, it just helps to, to do it. So show us how this thing actually works. In so it, like I said, it's super simple. You just insert it, make sure it doesn't fall. And then you Key. don't <laughs> don't have to get your fingers near any inky, mm -hmm. inky goodness. And you just, you know, will will fill your converter like normal. Boom. Now, one thing I noticed when I was playing around with this, Brian, and um, yeah. I know some of us know the trick where you can mm -hmm. tap it down and then refill. That doesn't work on these. Okay. If you do that, you'll get ink coming out. Because it's too fine. Still, yeah, it's too fine. Yeah, there's still ink up there. So you might have a little bit of space, okay. but it's not a... 
Not you know, a big deal. One handy little trick that I like to do if I can borrow this for yeah, a hot of second. So, of course, you can just, um, whenever you're filling any pen, not just a converter, but any pen really, if you just fill it and then dump it out and do it a couple more times, mm -hmm. you're gonna get pretty darn close to all the way full. I mean, it might have a little bit of an air bubble, but you can see here I've done it two or three times. Because when you first fill it, there's air inside the whole thing. So mm -hmm. you do it a couple times, there's not much left in here. But That's a little awesome. trick that I like to do, and I was actually telling Drew about this on Friday and he didn't even know. So this is something I clearly need to talk about more. <laughs> but when I fill, I'll fill it halfway uh -huh. and then I'll stop and then I'll flip it upside down and I'll keep on going so that I get air all the way through. Look at that. And then you start to expel it again. Oh, and it's harder because this is such a fine area. Just spill a little bit on me. Uh, and then you fill it again. And That's you're like brilliant. maxed out, except yep. for the little ink I got on me. So be aware of that. But there we but go. That's fantastic. So that's the concept. It actually works better in a pen. This is more yeah. difficult in a snorkel because you can't see what's going on necessarily. Yeah. But that's that's how you can get a full filling without having to do too much craziness. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, it doesn't fit everything. Right. Right. It, because it fits the majority of converters we have tried. Yes. So let's talk about what it does and doesn't fit. Okay. Okay. So. That was a standard international converter. Mm -hmm. The thing that I found, and I talked about this a little bit in Q&A on Friday, it doesn't fit every standard right. international converter because it's not truly a standard. Right. So we've come to find. Um, so for example, exactly. I had the uh, one that comes in the Jin Hao, uh -huh. right? It is too loose. loose. It doesn't fit. Even though it's standard international, for whatever reason, the tolerances are just so slightly different that it doesn't actually grab on. Now, what I haven't done is see if I can like hold it on here and still try to get it to, no, it's not gonna work. Yeah. No, if it's not grabbing on, then it's not gonna have the proper suction. So it doesn't work on a Jin Hao. I've also found that it doesn't work on like a threaded standard international yeah. converter. Again, the the seal isn't there, so it it's just, just doesn't good. quite yeah. pull up. Which the is ink. crazy because like it'll fit with this regular one, which will fit in say like a Monteverde or a Conklin or something. Yeah. But if it has a threaded converter, the threaded converter won't fit. Lord. So there's definitely some trial and error that has to happen on some of these, even within something like a standard international. Well, and the thing that was kind of funny to me when I was playing around is it worked with one of the Monteverde converters, but... Thanks, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> from, from, from above. Uh, but it doesn't work in the mini Monteverde converter. Right. And it doesn't work in the clear Monteverde converter. Now, if you're using these converters in the same pen, it'll yeah. fit in the pen. Yeah, they'll they'll interchange. And I think that's probably because the, the post that wraps around the end of the feed inside mm -hmm. the pen is also made of plastic. Right. So you get plastic on plastic, you get some give. tolerances there, some give. Yeah. With stainless steel, there is no yeah. give. So the converter, if it's not you know tight enough, right, you're kind of out of luck. Right. So that's what you're dealing with here. And I have given this feedback to Dante. And he's like, oh, that's interesting. Let me see what I can do about that. Oh, that's awesome. This first run is what it is, but in future versions, he's going to see if maybe he can change the tolerances and, and help yeah. with that. But just want to be aware of that, especially in the standard international ones. Um, but if it's other converters too, like mm -hmm. Lamy, for yep. example. It's great on Lamy. It'll fit a Lamy. That's what that middle step is yep. there for. So that's a nice tight hold. And then one... Z28. I got a Z24, just in case you're curious. And a Z26. It'll fit all the Lamy ones. Now let's talk about pilot. Oh. Because there's a lot of different pilot converters. There's a lot of different pilot converters. And people don't necessarily love the way that yeah. pilot converters fill. So this is a Con 40, which is kind of famous for being uh, persnickety. Yeah, I'll particular. Say. Yeah. A little disappointing. <laughs> so you're still not changing what the converter actually is. So you're still only going to get about half a fill initially yeah. with this thing. But again, if you do the same trick of you fill it multiple times, you're gonna get a whole lot closer. So even just this, this isn't bad, right? Yeah. Like, that's not too bad. Three little things took me, what, 15 seconds? Yeah, it's While not... I was talking. And it didn't get ink everywhere, which is the problem with the... Truth. The Con 40 that a lot of people have. So now I'm gonna do a little turn it upside down trick, and I'm gonna try not to get, oh boy. You know what you should do? This is, I forgot this step. Put a little paper towel or something oh, at yeah, the top, that works. so that if you happen to like shoot it out of the thing. I don't know. I like the fountain of ink though. It's kind of fun. You like that? <laughs> oh, you know what it is? Okay, so because this one has the rubber seal at the top here, and I'm sorry, this is hard to show, Andy. Um, the snorkel is actually getting up in there, so there's an empty space 
right there, there. so there will have to be a little bit of empty space because i'm basically shooting it up through the tube uh, right now there so you, you know the Con learning 40. something new all the time okay so that's as filled as this thing is going to get with this so you still have a little bit there but honestly with the post and the way that it happens in the pen it's not um, bad it's not going to do it mm -hmm. yeah so andy's giving me the wrap-up sign but before we do <laughs> i feel like i want to make more of a mess i want to try the con 70. i did not love it when i was playing around with the con 70. you know i haven't played with it yet so let's see if i can make more of yeah, a mess see, here see how you feel about it. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little tough because you're trying to fill with pressure through this tiny little tube. It's uh, you know. <laughs> Come on. There you go. Little engine that could. Woo! Boom. There we go. That's a pretty full filling. That actually is. That's way better than I got. So you got to go aggressive on it. There you go. You can't be light. You got to just <laughs> you got to go full on 100%. So go ham on this thing and you'll be okay. I mean, that's pretty darn good. That's awesome. I'm pretty, I'm pretty pleased with myself Yeah. Uh, on that one. So, and then, you know what the heck, just for ha-has, I'm going to try the aerometric as well because I also haven't tried this. Now, this one's hard because you can't really see what's going yeah, on. Yeah, you have no idea what you're doing. But, I mean, that's, that's filled. Oh, yeah. That's filled. That was actually pretty easy. That's awesome. So very versatile. It won't fit things like the Platinum. Right. Um, it won't fit, will it fit uh, Schaefer? I don't know. Oh, yeah, if it's Shaker. Oh. Okay, that's Let's cool. See. Waterman? Uh, not so nope. much the Waterman. And that's a Sailor? Sailor. Ugh, it's tight. Ugh. Not really. No. No. You could force it, but you probably shouldn't. So, again, a little bit of experimentation. We're going to try and put everything on our site as to what it will fit yep. and will not fit. But, Adrian, thank you so much for taking the time to Absolutely. play with all these. It was tons of fun. It really like, like, Drew asked for a volunteer, and I'm like, me, pick me. Me, I want to so, play with all these things. I want to play with it all. And you have a converters everywhere, and you're like, wait, which one's what now? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I you've been here list. seven months, so you're like, okay, uh, <laughs> they all look slightly different. Lamy's easy to point out because it's red. Red, yeah. But other than that, you know, that's fine. So we'll sort it out for the next 10 minutes uh, while we clean up from our mess. Uh, but anyway, hope you have a wonderful Monday. Happy Monday. Have a happy Veterans Day observed. Call in and talk to us. Yes, absolutely. You can talk to Adrian. I yeah, won't answer the phone. Talk to me. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for being on, Adrian. Of course. Great having you here again, everybody. Thanks so much for watching and right on. Right on.